Georgia, and you are? Ramona Curlin. We're the Plains Trading Post, smack dab in the middle of downtown Plains, Georgia. <laughs> and what really drew us was Jimmy Carter's sign out front. Mm -hmm. So you've met Jimmy Carter? Yes, ma'am. Tell me about it. What you see is what you get, what you think he and Miss Rosalind are like. That's exactly how they are. Very down to earth, very personable, like your grandparents. My husband has collected buttons since he was itty bitty and he's and and we're old so he has actually met like Eleanor Roosevelt and talked to them yeah spent time talking to her so he had a history in it and he collected and when we moved here he said you know I'm gonna take some of my extras put them in a display case and show people we live upstairs all day long people were like I want this button I want that button so he got out duplicates and from there we've expanded we're well known in the industry, so we are the largest political memorabilia dealer in the country now. Everything that's in here political is all authentic, pros and cons on everybody. I tell people some you like, some you don't like, some you forgot, some you want to forget, insert your own names into the given areas. But we go back to 1816 Abraham Lincoln. Okay, now these, who is this? These are yearbooks. This one is Georgia Tech. 1943 and if you turn to the freshman class right here you have Jimmy Carter we also have his Annapolis yearbooks lucky bags this is when he graduated from there in 1947 and here you have him with his graduation picture from Annapolis what a gem in Plains, Georgia. So come and visit. Great place. Amazing history. All condensed right here. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and this is Philip. Philip with one L. I come from a poor family. This is Plains Trading Post in Plains, Georgia. My only question for you is, where have you been all my life? <laughs> <laughs> We've been all over. Because well, we're the worry warts. Well, so tell Most us. people hide from me, though. Why? Why is that? <laughs> Wait till you talk to me. <laughs> you know why Sarah Palin kept putting quarters in the Coke machine? She was winning. <laughs> Did you uh, hear about the woman that didn't pay her exorcist? She got repossessed. Repossessed. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, stop laughing so hard. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to ruin the show. What, what, do you, what do you call a smart blonde? A golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, we are the largest political memorabilia dealer in the United States, but that isn't what makes us special. What makes us special is we're one of two secret service dealers in the United States. And that's like military, pins, patches, challenge coins, shields. But in any given day, we meet the world in planes. The majority of the people we meet are coming and going from Florida. But when I ask people where they're from, the answers I get are Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Illinois. And then it's Germany, United Kingdom, and Canada. Now we're getting a lot of mainland Chinese. Wow. 
Oh. Now, my question Very to diverse. you is, will you go to the prom with me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jimmy Carter. You've met him? I talk to him quite often. Really? And I talk to him at times about politics. And my take on the way he sees things is it's more important what type of person you are than your politics. He can be opposed to your views, but if you're a decent person, that means more to him than your political persuasion. When I was sick, he sat with me for an hour. If my wife does anything nice for them, you get a handwritten thank you note they lived their faith. When we moved here, I didn't even know if I believed they lived here. They came in to welcome us to the community and they never stopped coming. I could only imagine being that gracious and that humble for what they've accomplished and done. I mean, it's much more important what type of person you are than your political persuasion. Mm -hmm. He's willing to tolerate your views even though it might be different from his if you're a good person. Mm -hmm. If you agree with him 100% and you're not a good person, it really doesn't matter. Right, so let's aspire. Let's aspire to being good people. Yeah, let's get high, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he'd say that. <laughs> Philip, it has been with one, an absolute with one pleasure. L. With one L. Philip, with one L. It's been a pleasure. Your wife, Ramona, is a delight. And you just made this day amazing mm -hmm. for us. Uh, so thank you. What's black and brown and looks good in the turning? A Doberman. <laughs> oh! Why do they use white rats for medical experimentation? Why? Lawyers are too expensive. How <laughs> <laughs> come a shark doesn't bite an attorney? Professional car. You know that one. <laughs>